What's up guys, this is Prime C from PR Tech Reviews and I'm here to give my impressions on the new Google Inbox app. Let's get started. So as many of you may know, Google Inbox is a new app by Google. Um, so basically it's like a card-like UI and what I like to describe it is, is a Google Now and Gmail got combined and had a kid and this is what happened. Um, as you can see, it looks more like a card-like UI, and if I open, say, a certain email, you can see that card-like UI everywhere, more like a material design, which is great. Um, as you can see, I can check mark this as done. This is one of the first features that I will talk about. Uh, basically, on the mobile versions of the app, there are different gestures, and I'll have that right now in a side video. You'll be able to see those gestures. But basically, you have a pin gesture, um, a snooze slash remind me later gesture and a done gesture. If you've seen Mailbox by Dropbox, you'll know this is very similar to that. It's basically Google's interpretation of it and it's pretty much flawless. If I want to get this email done, all I do is click the check mark and now it's marked as done. Uh, say I want to, as you can see right here, I snooze this email snooze for one day. Say I want to snooze this again. Uh, I want to see this later today at 7 p.m. I just got to click later today and boom, it's snoozed. I won't see that email to 7 p.m. You can also see that you can see links um, such as YouTube videos or different attachments or pictures right here on the outside without even opening the email. Another cool feature of this is you get reminders from Google now integrated into this. Um, right now we don't have any reminders on this account but on my personal account I do have a lot of reminders and one thing I didn't like like about this reminder software is it didn't include like um, predictive text, text like it did not look in the email for a certain time and date and then make that reminder I had to put it all in manually so keep that in mind pretty sure Google will have this figured out in a couple of months maybe even weeks for that matter um, the last feature I'd like to go over is bundles basically it's just like the categories in Gmail except there's a lot more of them and you can make your own so I made my own here notes for us I basically um, I basically made parameters such as it has to be from myself or from Ronick's ironic's email address and all those emails will come here as you can see the email title was hi and the um, text the body was testing the bundle if I go to purchases I'll see all our PayPal um, PayPal payment kind of uh, related emails travel we have no travel emails on this account unfortunately but my personal I do have like my flights listed here uh, finance uh, usually you'll see those if you have bank accounts uh, this one's not linked to any social is one that will always be popped off at anybody's you get your Facebook Google Plus Twitter YouTube everything here um, your updates mainly like it will look in your um, it'll also look in more like uh, again about like updates like if you had a Facebook friend it might come up here as you can see twins or PayPal statements this um, um, to make a new bundle you just click create new and let's just name this test bundle um, so now you have your parameters, you can add your parameters here. I can add from and to subject includes and excludes. So I want to make bundle from my personal email and then subject text I like pi. So now that if I send anything that um, from my email with the subject I like pi, it will go into this bundle called test bundle, which is pretty neat. It's very good at organizing emails and it looks great. And especially on a mobile OS, which this is the same exact look on a mobile OS, it's amazing because it feels more fluid, more nice, and it just looks pretty. Um, you also have your plus button right here. Uh, invite to inbox is right now it's in beta. Your reminders here and your three most contacted um, people. So you can quickly write them an email that composes just like uh, Gmail. It reminds you a lot about Gmail. And then let me show you this pin feature. So if I pin this email inbox by Gmail, I pin that. If I click this at the top, I'm able to see only my pinned emails. So you can pin important stuff uh, to get back to if you don't want to snooze it, if you want to pin it instead. Uh, but otherwise, that's it. Uh, inbox is very simple and Hopefully it becomes more advanced in the future and more useful. I mean, it is useful right, right now, but until that reminder thing gets checked, it won't be my number one go-to. So guys, uh, that's my review of the new Google Inbox app. Hope you liked it. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, do everything. You know that no video on YouTube video. Share this video. And luckily now I have a camera. I'll be making more videos in the future. And I guess I'm back. Um, I'll just catch you guys in the next one. Peace.